I honestly think Seth Rogen is like contractually obligated to smoke a little bit and take some blunts in every single film of his. <laughs> Sausage Party is your untypical, raunchy, animation, R-rated film that stars Seth Rogen and all his friends basically returning to reunite from, like, this is the end and having collaborations from, like, you know, Pineapple Express and Superbad, you know, Sprinkle In and just you, the usual Seth Rogen friends coming back to now doing something that, you know, they haven't done before, which is animation and now they're taking their hands on this and doing what they usually do in the adult live action films and now bringing it to the animation world. I just wanted to see something, you know, original, something different with these guys. I want to see what they can do with this. The premise with the trailers, which is just so hilarious. I was like, we're going to get like Toy Story, but now, you know, what food does behind our backs? Or we're going to have to see if food is talking behind our backs and pretend we're not looking? I just wanted to see what they can do with this. And this film is not for everybody, okay? Yes, it's an R-rated movie, but even some adults are probably going to find this hard to watch. And if you get offended breeze really easily, this movie is probably not for you, you know. It goes after every race that you can imagine. And honestly, you know, if you if you know kind of what you're going in, you're in, into this movie to watch, you'll have a good time. Like, I, I didn't get offended whatsoever, you know. Everybody had their shots, you know. There were characters in here that resemble from like you know whatever the food product is and you know the voice animation for the film was good like whoever was cast to do whatever fit the role michael Sarah played well as this like deformed like wiener and then the guy from parks and recreation nick kroll he was so good as playing the douche as he always is you know he plays a douche in that series and he's playing one in this movie everybody was just cast so well and the best parts really of this film are like just the voice acting, just hearing them and seeing how, you know, it's crazy that just it's food that we are, you know, watching ourselves be the characters, just the animation. And lately in like these past years, these, like with Pixar, DreamWorks dominating and having animation as a form for like kids for movies to watch, whether they're good or bad. It's just great seeing this come out. It just felt like a breath of fresh new air for this genre. It's good how they could, you know, get away with a lot of stories because it's animation. How, like, they're just killing kids. And then, like, the, sex the sexual messages that would go on throughout the film. And, God, the movie starts off very strong and it ends very strong. I just can't believe there were some, you know, like, shocker that like, they went for it. There's also these messages with, like, religion and whatnot. It felt a little bit too obvious, but I can understand what they were going for. You know, it's good that... Even for a Seth Rogen movie and maybe, yeah, for an animation film. It's good that they, you know, try to take the, the the message of the film and try to, you know, pick something that is not really too dumb. It's It, it interests you, whether it offends you or not, you know. It has a topic that, you know, you can discuss. There are a little bit of parts where I thought, you know, it slowed down a bit, but then it picked itself up. But then it slowed down a bit, then it picked itself up. And for a little bit, you know, the curse words, all the foul mouth languages that is said throughout this film, it gets a little bit tiring or you just get used to it. But every now and then they use it up again to make it so clever. And even though it kind of dragged a little bit, it p picked itself up when it needed to. And it was still refreshing just to see this. It's going to make you look at food in some weird, bizarre, odd way. You're just going to have to be like, yeah, I think I'm going to eat serious for, for the next couple of days. It's just strange, you know, what they can come up with and the ideas are so strong and the best parts really are just like the voice animation, just like the the ideas they can come up with, just that they won't they didn't hold back. They use this type of genre for its leverage. It's just very few weak parts, it's just it dragged a little bit, but it saved itself every time it would pick itself up and try to and have something new for us to like laugh about. So overall, I'm going to have to give Sausage Party an A-. minus. If you know how you're going to set your mind for this film and how to go watch this movie, you'll have a good time. 
Let me know all of you what you thought of Sausage Party. If you guys thought this was hilarious as well, or if you thought it was a little bit offensive. Let me know all this in the comments below. And as always, Roland Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.